Welcome back everyone, hope you're all well. I thought I'd do a kitchen tour for you today, seeing as you've only ever seen my kitchen window and not the rest of my kitchen. And I've also got a few new plants and I've shuffled a few plants around. So I thought I'd go around and just show you what I've got in my kitchen. Currently, I'm sure I'll be getting some new plants soon. Got this stunning Chinese evergreen from the ginger jungle, which I've only just recently got. These are great because they actually thrive in medium light, which is perfect if you don't have great lighting in your house or if you don't have any space on the window. But just look at the patterns and the colours on the leaves. They're absolutely stunning. Some new growth coming up here as well. And I think I got this pot from Ikea. It's got my little Fetonia in here. This one was in the living room, but I decided to move him. I've been moving my Fetonias around actually recently. And these also can thrive in medium light, although the brighter light they get, the better the colour on the leaves are going to be. So just bear that in mind. And the pot is from Hobbycraft. random selection of mugs there. Here we have my little neon pothos. It's been a bit slow growing but I have had about three new leaves from it. These will grow quicker if you put them in bright light. I've kind of moved it around quite a bit. Over here we have my snake plant that I got from Haskins only about a month ago. These again are really good for low to medium light. And when I say low light, I don't mean like in the dark or a room with no windows. I just mean somewhere that's not right by the window or on the window. Somewhere that doesn't get that much light, but obviously they need a little bit of light to survive. These will grow much quicker if you keep them in bright light. This pot's from Ivy Line as well. Another Ivy Line pot. This is my poinsettia that I've had for over a year. You can see some new growth coming up there and here. It got absolutely massive, so I had to like chop it right back. It just doesn't stop though, it just keeps growing back. I know um, you have to put them in the dark to promote the red leaf growth, but I quite like it green, I don't mind. Here is my stunning Monstera Peru from the Ginger Jungle. Look at those awesome, glossy, bumpy leaves. I don't think this is going to be its permanent home. I think I need to give it um, a spot that's quite bright. And I'd quite like to hang him up somewhere on the wall because I'd like him to trail. These have similar care to the Adansoni. So just keep them in bright, indirect light. Careful not to overwater, otherwise you'll get yellow leaves. I learnt the hard way with my um, Adansoni, but he's all right now. Okay, onto the window. The best part about this kitchen, I mean, it's only a small kitchen, but this window is an east facing window. And in the winter, it gets a bit of sun, which is really good, but not too much sun in the summer, which is also really good. Otherwise, all the plants would be scorched, but they seem to be enjoying a bit of winter sun. So I've got my little ficus here. Or when I say little, it's actually quite big now. Got him from Sainsbury's about a year ago. He seems to really enjoy the bright light of this window. And that's another ivy line pot there. 
This is one of my watermelon peperomia cuttings that I cut off about two months ago. So let me show you how it's doing. You can see a few roots on there. If you haven't seen it already, have a look at my um, propagation video for this plant if you're interested in propagating it. It looks quite cute there in his little vase. I've got my awesome croton, which just doesn't stop growing. And I don't know if I can reach. In the middle there, you can just see some new growth coming through again. So pretty. I've had my croton about eight months and I got him from my local Wyvale garden centre. And this pot is also an ivy line pot. Surprise, surprise. Look at this leaf. These like really bright light, sunshine, a bit of humidity. He seems really happy here. And he's never dropped any leaves, which I'm quite surprised about, because I know they can be a bit fussy. Here's my super cute dwarf Cavendish banana from Stork and Stem House Plants. It's so cute. I wasn't expecting it to be so small. I love it. Really compact and I love bananas as well. I've got a couple in the living room, but they're just being overwintered. So this one you can keep in the house all year, which is really good. And look, there's a little baby one growing next to him there. I think there might be two actually. I don't know how big these get, does anyone know? If you know, let me know in the comments. I love it. Again, another ivy line pot with a monstera leaf. Here is my Begonia Maculata YTI. Lots of new growth. These brighter green leaves are all new. One in there. These can be a little bit fussy. They can go a bit crispy from lack of humidity. They do a bit better in the summer. So stunning. Oops. Currently growing up a knitting needle. I should replace that really with something else. I'll do for now though. And I got him from Root House Plants. And again, the pot is an ivy line pot. On to my stunning variegated monstera. This is the newest leaf here. Really nice and variegated. I bought this cutting off eBay about six months ago. And since then, it's grown this new leaf. The leaf at the back is really stunning actually. I'll try and turn it round. difficult to see. I learnt with this particular plant that the white parts of the leaves will actually go brown and crispy if it's not in bright enough light. So if you are having brown tips on your variegated parts, try moving it somewhere brighter because since I moved mine it hasn't had any browning whatsoever on any of the white parts. I water all my plants with filtered water. Marble Queen. Oh, and that pot is um, Wickcomb form. I love these. I've moved this round quite a bit 
but it seems to really like it here on the window. Again, the brighter the location, the more variegation you should get on them. This is my beautiful orchid in flower at last. Last time I did my kitchen tour, it wasn't in flower. I've got about four orchids. Um, I'm not quite sure how long I've had this one. I've had a couple of them for about four or five years and the other two about a year. But I'm not quite sure which is which. The others aren't in flower. And actually the last few months I've been using this orchid feed and mist. So you just literally spray it onto the roots and it's been doing really well. Here we have my stunning oxalis, enjoying the sunshine. It's actually freezing outside today. It's um, about three degrees, I think. It's quite deceiving because you look out the window and you think, oh, it looks beautiful, go out and do some gardening. And then um, you go out and it's absolutely freezing. I did that the other day and I came in after about five minutes. They can go dormant in the winter, which is completely normal. And also if it's starting to look a bit leggy, just chop it right back and it'll, it'll regrow bushier than ever. I haven't chopped mine back. I've just kind of left it. I'll see what happens. And this pot is from Ivy Line. That's my lovely alocasia. I also got this one from my local Yvel. It's flowered twice already this year. And when it first flowered, I didn't even realise that they flowered, so it was quite a surprise. And I've had this guy probably about eight months. Next to him, we've got my Pothos Enjoy. Really pretty variegation. This was another one that I got from a local garden centre called the Garden Society. It's doing really well, it's grown quite a lot. And the pot is another ivy line pot. I'm just about to see it behind the jungle. Here's my Opuncha from Home Base. Absolutely stunning, but I didn't realise that it had glockids, if that's how you pronounce it and they are horrendous. So I try and avoid going near this one, to be honest. I would never get another cactus with um, glockids. And that's an ivy line pot. Next up we have my philodendron atom. I haven't had this one long. And this one's from Stork and Stem House Plants. Absolutely love it. Look at its curly, unusual leaves. And these stay really compact as well, which is quite good if you don't have the room. I don't think it's going to grow much bigger than this. So cute. Really healthy looking. this pot's from Wickholm Form also. I thought it'd be interesting actually to bring in my hygrometer today and see what the humidity and temperature was like in here. 45 degrees so not amazing but not horrendous either and 20 degrees inside. Seeing as it's three degrees outside that's pretty good. If you haven't seen it already check out my humidity tips video if you are having any issues with trying to raise the humidity in your home. Sometimes I'll just fill up this sink here with water to raise the humidity or put the dishwasher on and leave it open afterwards and let all the 
steam out. But they all seem really happy here, so no issues, even though the humidity is not crazy high. Here's my cute little Syngonium from the Ginger Jungle. So pretty. And I just got her this little pink pot. I seem to do quite well with Syngoniums. And you can also put these in medium light as well, which is quite good. Although the Syngoniums I've got upstairs are on a south facing window and a west facing window and they seem to be doing quite well. But I'll see how this one gets along here. Here's my string of hearts from my local garden centre called Bambridge. These ones are doing really well. I actually just gave them a trim a couple of weeks ago because they got so long. But you can already see there's new growth coming on the ends there. These seem to like a really bright spot and just careful not to overwater them. The leaves should feel quite kind of firm and hard. When they start to feel a little bit squishy or wrinkly, that's when you know that they need water. I'm not great with succulent type plants, but luckily this one seems to be doing okay. And then last but not least, we've just got my Monstera cutting. Let me show you the roots. I think he's been rooting for maybe, oh, I don't know, a couple of months. So he's doing okay. What do you think of my kitchen window? It's a bit jungly, but I love it. It actually makes washing up fun. Staring at all these stunning plants. I'm sure I'll have some new plants to add to my collection very soon. I really hope you enjoyed my kitchen tour. If you've got any questions, just leave them below as usual in the comments section. And I'll see you all soon in my next video. Take care everybody, bye.